Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to start Java programming. So we have given the name of the session is Java programming kickoff. This session is very important for who are not familiar with Java programming language. So these are the topics which we are going to cover in this session, like how we can create project, package, class, variable, constants, basic of method, or we can call it functions and object. So as we have already installed Eclipse in the previous session, we are going to use Eclipse as a IDE. IDE means integrated development environment. So we are going to do programming here on the Eclipse. I am closing few windows which are not required for me. So only two windows I keep it like one is package explorer and other is editor. Apart from it, I'm going to increase the font. So windows preferences. Here we have general editor and text editor. So I'm increasing the size of the font so we can easily see the code which is written and giving the size is 14. Click on OK. OK. Now we are ready to start coding in Java. So whenever you want to start coding in Java, first we need to create a project. So I'm moving to the file new Java project. Name of the Java project you can give anything but here I'm giving like Selenium Automation Coding. So whatever the name you want to give you can give it over here. Click on finish and our Java project is created and you can see the display here in the package explorer. You can expand it. So here it shows SRC. SRC means source. In this SRC folder, we are going to write all the coding files. Also, all the libraries which are required to work with the Java programming language automatically added and displayed over here. In the previous session, when we gone through the Eclipse basics, we have already seen workspace. So workspace is the space in our system which hold all the projects which we are going to create here on the Eclipse. If you want to see the workspace, right click on the project. Here in the properties, you are going to get the location of the workspace. So that's my location and that's my project name. So I'm copying this workspace location and moving to the place. So here you can see when you created a project in the Eclipse, a folder is created in the workspace. And inside the workspace, you can see SRC. Here on the front end, we have the SRC. Now a project, a Java project is created. We can move to the second step. So the first step is always to create a Java project. And now project is created. So Second step is to create package, but we want to check this package creation is mandatory. Answer is no. If you want to create a coding file directly, you can right click on this SRC and here you can directly select class. Class means the coding file which we are going to create. This is the coding file, the file in which we are going to write coding. I'm giving the name of the class is TC001. So here is class is created, but, but the problem here is like if we have 500 test cases, you are going to create all the test cases in this SRC folder. So later on, it will be difficult to find out which test case belong to the login page or which test case belongs to the any other functionality. So it will be difficult to differentiate between the test cases. So best practice is not to create test case or I'll say the classes directly in the source. So I'm deleting it and that is deleted. So best practice is go for the packages. Packages we can understand it like that. As of now, 
on my on my desktop we have lot of files in the folder so normally what we do to manage our files and folders we create folders and similar type of files are placed in in folder like like i take an example i have a drive i have the desktop here we have lot of movies here we have lot of songs so what we normally do to manage that we create folder for a movie and all the movies will be placed in that particular folder we create one more folder for uh, songs and all the songs will be placed in a particular folder in the same way as we manage our system in the same way we can manage our test case in eclipse so to manage our test cases in eclipse we are going to use package so here on the src right click new and we can select package package name could be anything but standard is like package name must be started by the small letter so i am giving the package like login i am creating a package with the name login as we enter you can see a login package is created so all the login test case i'm going to place in this login package and if you want to see on the back end so here inside the src a login folder is created so whatever the package we are creating here on the front end a similar folder is created on the back end i'm going to show you one more package so i'm coming to the src right click new package this time i'm giving the name registration so on back end we go and here we can see our registration folder is created we can understand it like first i have just refreshed my project so the default package which is coming has been removed we are getting only two packages one is login and one is registration so here we have the two packages so one thing you have noticed whatever the task which we are doing here on gui we are getting it reflection on the back end on the back end workspace can we create pro package directly here in the src and it will display on the eclipse means i want to do the reverse as of now what we are doing we are creating the package here on the project on eclipse and we are getting its reflection in the back end so now i want to reverse of it means i'm going to the src inside this src i'm going to create a folder so i'm going to create a folder and giving the name search you can see it over here that search folder is created inside the src now i go to the eclipse to my folder and just refresh f5 so as you f5 or refresh here you can see a package displayed over here means it's a both way syncing if you are doing something on the project level on eclipse that will be reflected on the back end and in the workspace and if we do any task on the workspace inside the project or src same task will be displayed on the project as well so it's a both way syncing So here we have created a project and few packages. One more thing I want to update, like sometimes it is possible that if you are going for the search functionality, you have 20 test cases for the search. 10 test cases search by simple approach and 10 test cases for the advanced search test cases. So we can have like, so if I show you my application, so here we have a simple search functionality like i'm searching here and we also have advanced search functionality over here so like we are creating 10 test cases for the simple search and we are creating 20 test cases for the advanced search if you are taking this example so we have 30 total test cases 10 test cases for the simple search and 20 test cases for the advanced search 
So we are going to place all these 30 test cases into this search package. But now question comes over here is can we distribute test cases of the search as well like I want to place 10 test cases of the simple search on a different folder and 20 test cases of the, diff of the advanced search in a different folder. Yes, so as we know we can create folder inside the folder in the same way we can create sub package inside the package. So I'm going to create a sub package. Right click, go to the SRC, right click new package. So that's my main package. Inside the main package you want to create a sub package means the folder. So dot is used for creating a sub package. I'm giving simple search. So here you can see a package is created search dot simple search. And if you see on the back end, so here inside the search, a simple search folder is created. So means we have created sub package inside the package or if we see practically, so subfolder inside the folder. In the same way, in the same way, I'm going to create one more package. So new package and here I want to use search dot advance search so now I'm creating one more sub package inside this search package and click on finish so you can see a one more sub package is created and going to the back end here advanced search folder is created inside the search so we have seen package can be created and inside that sub package can be created so till the time we have created a Java project, inside the Java project we have created packages and sub packages. Now I am moving to the next level which is class. So to write the code we need to create class. Go to any package in which you want to create a class like I want to create a class in this login package. Right click new and here we can select class. When we select class, a Java file is going to be created where we can write code. So here our window is opened. We need to give the name of the class. You can give any name to the class, but name should be started by the capital letter. It is not mandatory, but if you try to start it by the small letter like class A, so it's giving like type name is discourage. Java suggests package name must be started by the small letter and class name must be started by the capital letter. So it will be good practice if you use capital letter to start the class name. I am creating a class A. Click on this finish and here you can see a class, a Java file is created inside this login package and that's my Java file. We can write our code in this Java file. So here we have covered how we can create project, package and a Java file. So if we talk about the definition, so we can define Java project as a collection of source files. Source file means all the files in which we are going to write Java code and also and also the collection of other files which is which are required to execute our source file. So Java project can be defined as a collection of the source file and other files which are required for executing our source files. Now next is what is package. So package can be defined as a collection of the sub packages and source file. So here source file is like this Java file. Sub packages you can see it over here. So package can be defined as a collection of the sub packages and and if you see the practical definition of this package so package can be defined as a folder which can have subfolder and 
source file. So here we can see package can be defined as a folder that is my folder which can have source file and sub packages. So we have seen sub packages as well or sub folders as well. So package can be defined as a container of sub packages and source file or we can call it package can be defined as a folder which can have subfolder and source file. Then we are creating Java files. So there's the, the extension of the Java file is .java and these are the files where we can write our Java code. So in the session how we can create project package and our Java files. In the next session we are going to start coding in this Java file. So that's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.